Have you ever made plans then ended up regretting them later on. More than a third of people in a recent survey says this often happens to them. That goes way up the younger you are. And more than half say the pandemic has made it more acceptable to cancel plans last minute. So Andrea, she's in New York, pretty social place. How often are you coming up with excuses to get out of something? You know, I'm itching to get out of the house. So I'll say maybe 80% of the time I'm excited for the plans. And then the other 20%, I cannot believe that I made plans, but I'm still, I've still got that itch to go out. You know, I'm still, I'm, I'm without children. Uh, and so, you know, I'm unlike Sarah, um, I'm trying to do as much as I can before things get serious, you know? Yeah, Sarah moved out to LA. She's ball and chained to the house, hasn't left. And I mean, clearly <laughs> Michigan and Maine, that's the only place she's going. No, seriously, are you trying to bail out of things? Like it, it sounds good at first. And then you're like, mm, I want to stay on my couch. That happens to me. No, I'm trying to keep plans so I can get away from my 16 month old. Who's like a tad <laughs> I'm trying to keep, but Andrea and I would do this all the time. We would sign up for events and we would absolutely, I would, I would text and call her after I'd be like, never let me sign up for any events again. And then like a week later, she'd be like, <laughs> like I'm signing up to go to this event. <laughs> I look, I'm so guilty of this. And I have to say, I actually, I don't know what the condition is, but I kind of get a little excited when people cancel on me. Cause then I'm like, oh. I'll just like get in my pajamas and watch TV. Relief, That's right? Terrible. Like I don't have to get dressed. I don't have to go out. You don't think about the hangover the next yep. day, the money, everything. You guys seem like social butterflies, but I think Guy Lambert is the king of going out. <laughs> have you ever turned down an event? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I wish I could do it all the time. Uh, you know, so many times I, I sign up for these things just like Sarah and Andre, and I'm like, oh my God, I got to go. For me, it's it's the process of getting ready. You got to find the right underwear. And then it, my whole sock issue. I can never <laughs> find a matching sock. So I spend the next 30 minutes looking for a sock and then I have to change my outfit because the sock it's just a headache And then by the time you get there you have an attitude and then you have a ball So, you know, I, I get it. I would rather stay at home as well this Guy, what color is your favorite pair of undies? I guarantee you have like an MC pair of like underwear that brings you the luck. Good luck. What are they? Actually, mine has a ruler on one, but you know, I like that one. It's silk with a ruler on it. It's kind of cool. <laughs> How did that go like that far? <laughs> do you iron your underwear, Guy? Because I feel like I you not. would press your drawers. I don't. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> you I would think... Yeah, your draws are paisley. I'm getting lots, <laughs> lots of patterns yeah. from your draws, your draw collection. 